Hi and welcome to Inbound Explained. My name is Shannon and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to track your traffic on HubSpot. Understanding your traffic analytics and your website analytics is super important for your SEO and inbound marketing strategies because it's what allows you to know what's working, what isn't, and what you can improve on. So let's go ahead and jump on in. In order to access this information, you want to go up here to where it says Reports, then click on Analytics Tools, and you'll be taken into this page right here. You then want to click on Traffic Analytics. This is where we're going to see all the important information about your website. Once you enter into this page, um, you'll see a lot of information, but the important thing to know is that HubSpot organizes your traffic analytics into four main pages. You have Sources, topic clusters, pages, and UTM parameters. Uh, we'll talk about all four of these different sections, but the ones that we'll be paying the most attention to in this video are sources and pages. So sticking with sources, what you're seeing right now on your screen is a blurred version of this graph that's right here. Um, but if you were to do this in within your own HubSpot account, you would see a graph organized by color uh, referring to the different traffic sources that are bringing in um, visitors into your website. And if you scroll down, you'll also see a table that has the same data as the graph, um, just a little bit visually different. Also in this table, you'll see some other important information like sessions, new contacts, customers, bounce rate, and also the session length. The most important thing to know about HubSpot's analytic tools, whether you're on sources or pages or topic clusters, is that it's super customizable. So you're able to see the information that you're really interested in. Right now, what we're seeing here is HubSpot is automatically organizing our data into data from the last 30 days on a rolling date range. The rolling date range means that HubSpot will be continually updating this information this information day by day. So if you come, if you were to log in tomorrow, you would see a the updated information for yesterday's analytic analytical data. But you can also narrow this down or widen it to how much you want to be. So like I said, HubSpot gives you a bunch of different options for customizing this information that you want to see. Another way that HubSpot lets you customize the information you're seeing is over here in the corner where you see sessions. So automatically HubSpot will show you the sessions on your website. Sessions is equal to active viewers. Um, but you can go ahead and organize that into other data if that you're interested in. Along with this customization, you can also um, choose which data that you see on your, on your chart here. So like I said, this graph is showing you a visual representation of the different traffic sources bringing in visitors into your website. If you're only interested in tracking, let's say, organic search, you can go ahead down here and unclick the other traffic sources and the graph will only show you what you want to see. So again, this is a really great way to narrow down the information that you're interested in seeing. And one final customization tool that I want to show you that's super useful is you can actually organize the values that you see up here by clicking edit columns. So this will help you customize and narrow down the different information that you see in the columns according to what is most important for you. So let's go ahead and move on to topic clusters. So if you use the SEO tool within HubSpot, um, this is where you can track the progress of the different topic clusters that you set up in that SEO tool. So this is super helpful because this allows you to understand which topic clusters are bringing in the most visitors into your website. Um, and this will hopefully inform your inbound or SEO strategy um, because it allows you to understand what topics are we already writing about that's doing great, that are bringing in people, and how can we improve or what should we improve on? So this will help you narrow and focus your content strategy. The customization options are pretty similar to what we already reviewed in, in the sources page. Now let's go ahead and move on to pages. 
So this is where you can see the specific data about the different website pages that you have uh, on your website. So this includes website pages, landing pages, and your blog articles. So similar to the other two tabs, HubSpot first organizes the information through a graph, which attracts over time, and you have the same customization options as in the other two pages. But then when you scroll past the graph, you'll see that you can actually see the individual data for each of your different pages that you have on your website. Um, again, you can customize the different values that you can see up here at the top. This is super useful because it helps you understand which of your pages are performing best, um, which ones are growing, if you have a big boost in your, in your website and, and you're not sure why, you can go over to this tool and see which page it was that brought you that, those results. Because this tool is so big, you have multiple different types of pages that you want to track. It's easy to narrow down what you're looking at though. The first thing you want to do is you go over here to all page types and you can narrow down which pages you're looking at. So if you just want to track how your blog is doing, you can do that. If you want to track the, the success of your different landing pages, you can go ahead and do that. And you can also do your static website pages as well. But you can also uh, narrow down by language and domain. So this is really great if you have an international website or an international company or if you have many different dom domains attached to your HubSpot, you can go ahead and narrow that down too so you can get a more narrow view of how your specific uh, sites are doing and your different pages are doing. If you want more narrow information about how a specific page is performing, you can also go ahead and click on to the page and HubSpot will give you even more an analytical data about that one specific page. Finally, we can move on to this final section, which is the UTM parameters. So if you have set up URL tracking uh, for any links, you can go ahead and track the success of, of that different tracking in this section over here. So it works similarly to the other two pages or the other three sections that we have already reviewed in this video, and it has the same customization op options as we discussed before. And there you have it. This is how you can track your traffic on HubSpot. Um, this tool is great because you can narrow it down or widen it to get as much information or as little information as you need. As always, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment box below. And if you want to learn more about inbound marketing or HubSpot, go ahead and click subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.